Now, one important thing that I do want to mention is the fact that you're going to need to uh, use what is it the quick explore option over here okay now try to use it at the maximum so only one bad guy against five of us and depending on the damage that you're going to do at him you will rank in a specific system and you will get the rewards afterwards on and on and on you get the idea welcome guys to god summoner now this is going to be another idle rpg over here on idle games tv and obviously crash guild in progress now i'm not going to join it and obviously if you're going to play it you're going to be able to collect a lot a lot of resources with decent enough characters that you're going to be able to collect level up star up in order for them to actually kick a lot a lot of enemies asses now the idea would be pretty pretty simple in the campaign i cannot go forward because i'm quite stuck i do not have the proper level for my main account but you're going to be able to fight with five main heroes you're going to be able to place them in nine different spots and you're going to change formation but only five heroes send them into the battle you're going to fight with other enemies and if you will win you will go forward 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 you know the idea i'm just going to hit quick battle most probably i will lose because it's hard enough over here for me uh, i did some upgrades with my heroes let's uh, i hope that i'm going to win but who knows now the idea is pretty simple you're going to have enough heroes start them up level them up do the summons collect the resources endless towers over here as well mazes uh, a lot of events from what i saw a decent enough gameplay uh, the story decent enough the heroes animation animation and the graphics are pretty pretty decent played worst idle rpg games for sure but uh, definitely best ones better ones my bad now if I play it any further, drop a comment, let me know, but I'm going to show you my game progress right now. So if you're going to go into the campaign mode, you're going to see that unlock the next level golden hand. Now you need over here a specific amount of level for you to move forward. That's going to be the trick. You're going to need over here to go on specific journeys, but that's going to be a different thing. You're going to have the bounty quest over here. Over here in the bounty quest, you're going to have bounty points. Now you're going to send specific heroes just quick lineup and you will send them in order for them to bring you different kind of resources. Try to send them as fast as you can over here. Always always use your points, don't let them go to waste. Over here you're going to have the heroes, over here you're going to have the main city. Now the main city you can swipe the screen and it will turn your head around, okay? But you'll have the revive statue, over here you're going to have the raids. You will have two tickets for each raid so gold trial experience trial hero trial beast trial a rune trial didn't yet unlocked only at level 70. now the maya tower now this is the one that i just played over here endless tower with a lot lot of rewards sealed land didn't yet unlocked p pyramid trials that's what is meant over here you're going to play automatically so just put your main team and every 10 levels it will ask you for you to select a specific buff quite awesome this thing definitely give that pyramid a try now over here you're going to have the summons obviously if you're going to put your money in the game it's going to be easier for you and you're going to be able to do those summons but uh, if you didn't put your money in the game you can do summons with gems uh, decent enough summons decent enough uh, let's say percentages over here I got what I needed in order for me to check this game out. Uh, from what I saw, every time that you're going to summon, you're going to get at least one five star hero, although not necessarily a five star hero with four skills. So the best uh, heroes uh, are going to have four skills, okay? Don't fall for the heroes with five stars that have only three skills. Now, this is a really, really good hero, definitely a really good hero, but uh, I'm not gonna use it afterwards because I need level him up restart the other ones and i will not bother now the beast area over here this is where you're going to be able to fuse some heroes in order for you to start them up expedition now over here this is the let's say endless maze you're going to be able to fight over here in normal afterwards in hard and so on the pantheon over here now this one i didn't honestly quite got because over here you're only going to pay your respects for specific people and honestly don't know what this is something like a rating thing or whatever now you're going to have the vault basically over here in the vault this is the 
the spinning wheel okay so you're going to be able to spin the wheel and you're going to get specific resources spinning wheel specific my bad but you know the idea depending on how much you spin over here on and on and on now the x server over here uh, this is not necessarily every time unlocked uh, you can play it over here in order for you to actually fight on other servers i didn't uh, check that feature that much but uh, only with the guild okay now you're going to have the market you know the idea and similar with all idle rpgs uh, the altar the crypt on and on and on and on the altar over here this is where you're going to yeah this is where you're going to reset your uh, your uh, yeah, your heroes you're going to sell them basically in order for you to dismantle them now on the top of the screen you're going to have daily top ups events benefits if you're going to see the red dot over there try to focus on those because most probably you're going to get some rewards from there okay and you're going to need a lot of rewards in order for you to move forward in the campaign now the blacksmith part over here this is where you're going to be able to forge mostly all of your equipment in order for you to actually put the best equipment that you can on your main heroes on your main team because you're going to need to do that and believe me uh, not necessarily that the equipment matters a lot but you're going to have a daily quest over here that requires you to enhance an equipment okay so right now if i'm going to go over here and i'm going to go equip all here it is best equipment for her for you now, for you now, and for you, here it is, now that's it, okay, now right now I can go and for example I can upgrade this thing, and I can, uh, oh I need to watch out for the sets, most probably I played too many, too many, too many idle games and I'm mistaking them with others and others and others, but the idea would be that you're going to need over here to place the best equipment like in all idle RPGs and you will have a problem with those blue stones, oh my god the blue stones are driving me crazy, so try to get as many boosters as you can hit these shards for your heroes uh, if you're going to have the same heroes you know the idea you will be able to start them up uh, you will get uh, after those five uh, yellow stars you will get one red star on and on and on now over here you're going to have this chapter completion and you need to follow up on this in order for you to get those beast experience points uh, you need them but believe me enough enough uh, enough well, that's what I meant, enough uh, game modes in order for you to try this game, in order for you to actually, uh, let's say, play enough in this game to have a really, really good look at it. So you're going to have different kind of adventure, adventures in the mazes, almost forgot about this part. Uh, over here, all of my heroes, most of my heroes have died and that's why I didn't maintain the progress, because when I started it, I had the low, low level. But uh, this is quite quite foggy and you need to play over here more than I did in order for you to get all of the chests, better better equipment in order for you to place them on your hero in order for you to go further in the campaign. Now one important thing that I do want to mention is the fact that you're going to need to uh, use, what is it, the quick explore option over here, okay? Now try to use it at the maximum, five times a day, although it, uh, four times a day, my bad. Although it costs somewhere around 50 gems, try to get all out of it because you will get stuck so often in this game, in the campaign mode and it will drive you crazy, okay? It will drive you crazy. Try to use this quick explore option as fast as you can. That's how you're going to be able to eventually uh, uh, be uh, mo moving. That's how you're going to be able to move forward. My bad, my bad, okay? Now regarding the heroes, not so many things, you're going to have a big big gallery, depending on the faction you're going to have them over here, As you can see the mystic ones are the best ones that you're going to be able to place, and they will go hand in hand, you do need a healer, so watch out because you're going to need a healer, place a healer in your main team in order for you to actually be able to be, be more stronger. Now you're going to have the rec lineup, over here are some suggestions about the best lineups, newbie mix style, a nordic control style, a greek so on and on and on and on so it's going to be up to you but try to focus on the uh, heroes that have five stars with four skills when you're going to start the game afterwards you're going to figure out which ones go hand in hand but keep in mind you do need healers in this game because you will have a hard time in the boss you will have the over here in the dungeon basically you will be able to fight with uh, some bosses over here already played it but i'm going to consume one in order for you to actually see the fight so only one bad guy 
against five of us and depending on the damage that you're going to do at him you will rank in a specific system and you will get the rewards afterwards on and on and on you get the idea now if you have played to reach further drop a comment let me know in the comments below how far did you reach if you know other idle rpgs and i didn't play it or drop them in the comments i will decide if i play it or not i will see you don't know how many idle games i've played oh my god and so many idle rpgs i'm definitely the fan of the idle rpgs but let's go further so if you have played other idle rpgs drop a comment let me know in the comments with other names obviously other idle games will be necessary also please take care don't forget to subscribe smash that like button be safe out there and if you're not yet subscribed it will be helpful over here i'm going to post daily one new idle game obviously at least once a week or so i will post one idle rpg until next time take care be safe bye